All right, guys, today's video is starting off a little differently than most you're used to seeing on this channel. Uh, the video itself is going to be lighthearted, but the story I want to talk to you guys about before the video starts is not as lighthearted. Uh, earlier this week, Turkey uh, and Syria were hit by a massive earthquake, as you guys know. Thousands of people died. Uh, thousands of buildings were decimated to rubble. This episode was shot prior to all this happening, but since Turkey is facing a humanitarian crisis right now, I wanted to make sure to bring some awareness to it. I'm personally gonna be making a donation to Doctors Without Borders, and I'm also gonna be dropping a link in the description below if you guys would like to donate to help the people of both Turkey and Syria. And obviously it's completely tragic what happened over there. I've seen a bunch of other creators working on programs to donate. If you have something that you'd like to donate to Doctors Without Borders, the links in the description below and uh, to the people of Turkey and Syria. Uh, keep holding on and we'll all be praying for you. Oh, it's too old to be doing that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I you give it to Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. I actually wasn't sure if I even wanted to clock in for this episode because it's going to feel a little hairy. J-Rod, can you actually cue some, like, sad music for this part? <clears throat> Maybe like a year ago, guys, I was thinning. The back of my head was becoming exposed. It looked almost like a, a mirror. Like on a sunny day, you might be able to see your own reflection in it, like a small pond. David had recommended that we go check out a country called Turkey. Yes, like the turkey you're used to eating on Thanksgiving. And I went out there and I had a procedure done. Now, this surgery, as you guys know who are watching this, can cost upwards of 20 to 30 thousand dollars in the United States of America. But in Turkey at Smile Hair Clinic, their rate is between $2,000 and $2,500 US. I have gotten thousands of messages. Yo, Mike, do an update. What's the update? How's it look? How's it doing? How's it feeling? Come on over here, Katie. I saw you sneaking around in the background. I may be shooting a video, but I'm keenly aware of what's happening. Have you ever met a, a balding man before? Yes. Not the greatest thing, is it? No. Beyond just my own personal story, I think this is like an impactful way to kind of show you guys something that you could do to really make your lives better. The following is real testimony from Smile Hair Clinic. When I met Mike eight months ago, he was always trying to ask me out and I always said no. I had to used to sit with my back against the wall at restaurants so girls wouldn't sneak behind me and try to use my head as a mirror to check their makeup. I always had a shower with a shower cap because when my hair got wet, it got even worse. And worse than anything, I could never drive with my windows down. But then one day I discovered Smile Hair Clinic in Turkey and their cutting edge scientific process to restoring your hair and your dignity fast and at a fraction of the cost. At the time, he was bald, fat, and stupid. But eight months later, he's still fat and stupid. But at least he's not bald. And yeah, so after just one weekend in Turkey, a few hours in the doctor's office, and just 2,000 euros to get it done, my life has changed forever. And now look at me. I'm happy, I'm hairy, and best of all, I could drive around the neighborhood with my hot girlfriend and all the windows open. Oh my God, he's so stupid, I can't stand it. But at least I have his Amex card, and every time he posts me, I get a couple hundred followers. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Nothing, just how much I love you. Oh, I love you too, Jim. So thank you so much to Smile Hair Clinic for the new hair, the new hot girlfriend, and the new lease on life. Guys, if you want to learn more about Smile Hair Clinic, all you have to do is click the link that's in my bio right now. It'll bring you to a WhatsApp. You can chat with them, and you'll save 100 euros off your procedure. Click the link. It might just be the best thing you ever do. Hey, everybody. I bet you weren't expecting to see us here on the set of the beautiful Jeff FM, but I wanted to gather... Three people who know everything there is to know about hair, including my friend Jeff. Before we do anything today, guys, I want to show you some pictures of what my hair looked like. Here's some photos of the front of my hair. You can see that I was starting to thin out a little bit on the corners of my hairline. Now, quickly, shocking, never before seen video of the back of my head. It looks something like a marble table or a mirror that you could see your reflection when getting ready for the prom or some other formal event. You could also use the barbershop episode that we did the first time I cut your hair. So a lot of people don't know this, but when me and Jeff shot the first episode of the barbershop, Jeff was not allowed to show the back of my head. And honestly, now that I see it, I see what you were talking about. Me and David, uh, we went to Istanbul, Turkey on this uh, medical tourist adventure. The package that we got included transports from the airport to the hotel, then from the hotel to the clinic, back to the hotel and back to the airport, everything included. And they told me that I was going to need to have about 4,500 or 4,700 grafts individually removed from the back of my head. What's a graft? So yeah. basically the individual hair follicles are removed one by one from the back of your hair from this donor area. And then the surgeon comes in and makes 
4,700 micro incisions across the top, back, and, and, and parts of your head that you want to implant those hairs to. Wow, that's a lot of holes. And the surgeon and the techs go in and they actually push each one of those hair follicles into your head. 4,500 times? 4,500 times. How long does that take? It takes between six like six to eight, eight hours. And but how long do you have the hair for? Ever. The rest of your for life? For the rest of your life. You're in and out of Turkey in like two days. You're back. You're on your way back to America, and for the time thereafter, you're going to be very careful with it. You're going to be washing your hair with a specific compound each morning, and you're not going to be able to wear a hat for the first. I think for the first month, month I think it to was. Be sure, yeah, but then yeah. thereafter, when your hair is still kind of short, you can start to wear a hat. Here's the front of my head, and look at those strands. Look at those beautiful wow. implanted, transplanted strains of hair. These photos were not taken from the Chinese balloon. They were not taken from the Kepler telescope. These are iPhone photos. Drum roll. Now what you guys are looking at, right, here he comes right now, is the back of my head. Wow. This is what the back of my head now looks like. Now we are only eight months out from the hair transplant surgery, meaning we're only about halfway through the regrowth stage because it can take about 12 to 14 months. How has this changed your life? I don't have to worry about Oh no, what if someone stands over me on a ladder and looks down at my stupid fucking shiny head? I, I definitely think it helped your confidence a it lot. Did, You've been going on a lot more out. dates. You haven't yep. been wearing hats. Here, show a picture here of all the different times you saw me in that LA hat, that smelly Los Angeles hat. Guys, up until eight months ago, I wore that hat every single day of my life. That is what this hair transplant surgery has done for me. It has eliminated the have tos and gave me the want to's and now I do what I want as opposed to what I have to do. It's like Maybe a boob job it. for women, you know, it's that's, a what, boob that's, job yeah, that's the yeah, most yeah. common it's one it. for them that, I mean, probably has more risks, right? But you're ours, right. You know? Yeah. yeah. And you're German. It makes me feel better about everything, dude. And I can, I go to sleep <laughs> at night feeling like I have hair, which I do. That is a good analogy. Yeah, it's right. really nice to be able to fully eliminate for $2,000 to $2,500, an entire problem from your life. And you want to make sure you go to the right place because I know there's a lot of people, a lot of different countries that are doing this, and there's actually places that will take your hair, sell it on the black market, and they'll put dog hair into your yeah, head. Okay, so and, thank you, Jeff. And, All your feedback's been very helpful today. I appreciate you. Hair from squirrels. Invest in yourself. What are you going to spend money on shoes that you get dirty? This hair's with you for life, and I wouldn't lie on here. For Mike's video. I don't care about it. Go to Smile Hair Club Direct Turkey. <laughs> nice. That was close. Have you ever heard about um, anybody without hair ever being successful? Well, let me think. The richest man in the world has hair, Elon Musk. But did so, you know that it's actually from a hair transplant? You know, I could see that. He's got all that money. Why not invest in something so important? It's your face. It's your, your head. Did you know that there's been stories from the past where people without hair were mutilated stoned. and tortured and stoned to death because of how ugly they are with no hair? I think they should still do that in modern times. I think it'd be nice to do that. If you guys don't want to die as a result of your hairlessness, take care of that problem. The last thing your family wants to see is you sliced open with a, a, uh, a guillotine you know, or beheaded as a result of not having hair. Guys, save your life, save your family, go to Smile Hair. Bro, Clinic. how long is this video? <laughs> okay, all right, cut it. I am here with Life of Libs. I don't know why I called her by her Instagram name. You can call me my Instagram name. But her name's Liberty. She is a triple OG Instagrammer, model. She does a lot of fashion. And we actually just went to Costa Mesa to shoot for the Night Shift clothing, which What's is dropping house? next week. All the burger locations on the back right. of the shirt. Just like that, we have our food now, and it's here at Bored and Hungry. Bored Ape inspired burger shop in collaboration with Trail Burger, Long, Long Beach. Beach, California. Lib is a- Idaho girl. From Idaho. Oh, so yeah. claims to have quite a bit of knowledge on fresh foods, right, you would say? 100%. Well, because in Idaho, we have a lot of fresh meat. Everything is fresh. I was also gonna say, do most of the girls have eyes like that from Idaho? Because I might hang out- In Idaho, girls look like me, yeah. Shout out to all you girls from Idaho. <laughs> watching this episode. I like what I'm seeing. There's a there's a drippity drip drip of grease at the bottom coming out of this paper wrapper. Classic tail, we've seen this before. Sorry, Mr. Monkey, you're going on the ground. Martin's potato bun, uh, double smash patty. Anything special about the meat? 
house fund means. Special fund that we get for our brand. And just to throw this out there, as you can tell, the proprietors of the business are both recording me right now, which always makes these reviews fucking <laughs> just absolutely incredible. <laughs> Two slices of American cheese, a nice little uh, butter on the bun there, some pickles, and some what are those? Onions. caramelized onions. And the house burger sauce. Look at the thickness of that pickle on there. I like that. That gets me excited. That gets me a little... Thicker gets, the better. Three, two, one, go. Mmm. Wow. Yum. Wow. Hit right in the mouth with flavor from that house seasoning you described momentarily ago. Uh, I like that the cheese is not completely liquefied. It's, it's holding its position there just above the two patties. Bun's super soft, super fresh. A lot of flavor to it. And those caramelized onions play really nicely as well. You just ate half the burger. <laughs> oh. Look at my two bites. Can fit a whole Idaho potato in there. Oh yeah. You know what's funny? Well, you have great eyes. Thank and what you. do potatoes have on them? Those things that like hang off the side, they're kind of like weird looking. What? They're called eyes. What are we? That's what they're called. They're like little warts that grow yeah. on the yeah. side yeah. of the potato. Yeah, yeah. So I have warts for eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that is not fuck, that. dude. Thank you. Getting into these fries. <laughs> They got salt and pepper on them. It's something we've never seen before on this channel, but it's very interesting. Yeah, I like it. That's a must. <laughs> yes. Hey, yes. Wow. Liv, you just bought yourself a one way ticket back to the next episode <laughs> of the night shift. You are about to become a regular just because of that bite, dude. I don't care who's standing around me. You guys have seen me on this channel before with a proprietor in front of me give out a six. I've done it before. He showed up at my hotel two weeks later and tried to fight me. It's not even a great burger, it's a fantastic burger. It's right up there with the rest of the LA players. I would say I'm gonna go bored and hungry 9.1. Hey. 9.1, it's an incredible burger. David, you can confirm the score when you try it. Congrats, boys. Congrats. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> you weren't able to shake me, all right? <laughs> How's all your guys' hair? Hair? You want me to take this out? I wish I had some oh hair. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> come over here for a sec. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you got some? <laughs> At what, what age did you? I was about 27. If you had at that time a affordable option to fix it, would you have taken it? Absolutely. Okay. Well, did you shave it because you were having problems? I shaved it because it was already thinning out, and then you know it just stayed there. But any time in your life, you think to yourself, "Damn, I really want my hair back." There's a place called Smile Hair Clinic in Istanbul, Turkey. Everyone here watching this video right now knows about it because I've talked about it the whole video. $2,000, $2,500. Click the link in the description below. It's going to connect you right to a WhatsApp link where you can talk to them about going to Istanbul for two days, getting this shit done getting it solved once and for all so you can wake up, you can do a burger review with a hot girl and not worry about where the sun is hitting your head, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Unless you look as hot as this dude does with a shaved head, click the link in the description. I'll see you guys on next week's episode of The Night Shift. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace. Just proud, bald people. I got a hair in my throat. Um, getting out of swimming pools, I would get out in reverse so people didn't look down at the top of my head.